Hi class, I'm just going to go over with you how we go through the comparison, finding the biggest or the smallest or some sort of comparison between a group of records, a group of information. So the example I've got here is how we'd find the tallest person out of a group of five students. So I'm just going to walk it through like we did in class. So we'd need to set up, we need to keep track of one, two, three, four, five variables. This one here, that one there, I will keep track of the loop. This one here, tallest height and tallest person will be where we will store the tallest so far person and the tallest height so far over here we will keep track of the individual student that we're looking at now that we're reading in at that moment so starting through the loop let's just for the purposes of this exercise and this example say that our first person name is Liz and she is a hundred and hmm, 10. That's her height. That's Liz's height. Okay, that's our first person. So, to start through the first person, I set up here into my loop. For my first person through the loop, I is equal to, it will be equal to, let's make it, we'll maybe we'll write in this color. I is equal to 1. So, Right now, the tallest height, or well, first of all, we have to read in student height. Liz is 110, and the student's name is Liz. So then I come through here. I've asked the student name and height, and I've stored student height here, and I've stored the student here. Now I have to think about it. Is the student height greater than the tallest height? Well, this here, tallest height, is a variable that would be storing a number. And we know that when there's nothing stored it, in a number, it is the same thing as a zero. So right here, since there's nothing stored in tallest height, if I run it through this test here, I'll be able to figure out what's correct, which is true. Student height right now here is 110. Is that greater than tallest height? Tallest height has nothing in it, so it's zero. So it's true that tallest height is not as big as student height so then it will drop through here the tallest height will equal the student height so now I can put into here the student height which I can see is 110 if I look over here now I can see that it's 110 so I've done that and then my tallest person so far there's nothing in here it's just a string value of null it's just this right now because there's nothing, first time through there's nothing. So right now, I'm going to say that the person here that's tallest so far is student. The tallest person so far is student. So I'm going to put in Liz here. So then I come through here. I've gone through all that. So I can come out of my loop and I come back up. So now I'm the second time through the loop. So the loop will be not one, but it will be two. Okay, my next person I'm going to do, let's say this is Joe, and he is 95. Okay, it's the second person too. Second person. Second. That's the first. Right, coming through here, I've asked for Joe's name, height, and I'm going to store it in those two values. So the name here is Joe. Liz is gone. This person we're dealing with now is Joe, and he is 95. So I've got that done. Now I have to do this thinking through here. If the student height is greater than the tallest height, is the student height 95 greater than the tallest height? No, it's not. So I can jump straight through. I don't need to go through this bit here. It's, that is not true. This part here is not true. So I come through to end it. Student height is not taller, not greater than the tallest height. So I jump past that one, and I jump past that one, and I drop out back here to the loop through for the third time so this now becomes three let's say that this person is Paul 
and he is 120, so he's going to be pretty tall. That's the third person through. So, coming through here, student name, height. Okay, the height for Paul is 120, so whatever is in there is going to be replaced with 120. Whatever is in there is going to be replaced with Paul. Is <coughs> the student height for Paul at 120 greater than what is currently in tallest height? Yes, it is. So then I can come through this part here. So then the tallest height is going to be replaced with whatever's in the student height. So I drop that out. And because we've found our tallest person so far, we can actually take whoever it is there in the student and make them the tallest. So I'm going to change that. And now it's Paul. I come through here and drop out. I'm coming through for the fourth time. So this fourth time, I think we'll use the data of, let's say the data is, um, we'll do um, Kitty. That's my cat. And Kitty's not very tall. She's 20 centimetres high. So that's the fourth time through. So coming through, I've changed it to four. Now, sorry about that. Change it to four. Over here, Kitty's name for student will be, instead of Paul, it will say Kitty. The height there, we can see, will be 20. Now, is the student height currently greater than the tallest height? So currently the student height is 20. Can we see that? And the tallest height is 120. So this is not true. This expression here is not true. So I jump through after the if statement, out to the end for and finish with the loop. So I come through again for the last time. So we're now coming through for the fifth time. And the last little bit of data that we can use, and I'll just move this up, give myself a bit more room, is we will make this to be Mike. Mike, and he's going to be the tall, he's going to be quite tall. He's going to be the winner here, I can tell that right now. So coming through again, we've said it's the fifth time through the loop. The student height is going to be, cross that out, and let's write, I'll just change the colour so we can see, 130. And the name is Mike. So now, looking here, is the student height greater than the tallest height? So is the student height of 130 greater than the tallest height, 120? Yes, it is. It is indeed. That is correct. So I come down now into this part here. So the tallest height is going to x student height. Tallest height is going to x student height. So I take student height now and I put it into here. So I'm going to now, we will cross out that and I am going to put in the student height currently will be 130 and I get it from there and I put it into there. Okay, and the tallest person is going to be the student. So we're finished with Kitty, that was from before. So we're Mike was our last person. You can see him here, he's our last person. So we're going to put his name in here. So cross out Paul, and Mike is going to go in there. So then I finish that, and then come back here. I, to five, I would be going through the sixth time. So we're finished. So we drop out of the loop, and we go on to whatever is written here. So normally there would be some sort of display type statements where we're displaying these values of the variables that we just calculated. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit with what we're doing here.